Deep free diving has so many challenges for the human body, including hypoxia and decompression sickness. Another problem, though less dangerous, is nitrogen narcosis. Nitrogen narcosis, known as the rupture of the deep, results from the intoxicating effects of increased tissue nitrogen concentration at depth. Symptoms include euphoria, a false uh, feeling of well being, confusion, loss of judgment or skill, disorientation diminished motor control, tingling, and numbness. If you have done a scuba diving course before, then you probably remember about gas narcosis from it. Previously, it was called nitrogen narcosis, but the name was changed because studies show that other gases also have narcotic effects at raised partial pressure. But nitrogen narcosis is still a common term, so in this video we're gonna use uh, both of these terms. Its effect is related to depth and the speed of descent. In addition, visibility and light penetration can affect the onset or severity of narcosis. Some degree of acclimatization allows experienced freedivers to dive more safely at greater depths than unexperienced freedivers. Nitrogen narcosis affects uh, different freedivers uh, differently, uh, some may experience narcosis at shallow depths. The severity of symptoms also varies among freedivers. These narcotic symptoms are quickly reversible upon ascent. The symptoms of nitrogen narcosis begin first with effects of the higher function, such as judgment, reasoning, short-term memory and concentration. The freediver may also experience a feeling initially similar to mild alcohol intoxication. Further increases in the partial pressure of nitrogen lend to impairments in manual dexterity and further mental decline, including idea fixation, hallucination and stupor. But as I said earlier, uh, the symptoms of nitrogen narcosis can be easily reversed when you ascend to the shallow depths without any long-term uh, harmful effect uh, for the freediver. The precise mechanism is poorly understood, but it appears to be the direct effect of gas dissolving into the nerve membranes and causing a temporary disruption in nerve transmission. Scuba divers feel the effect of nitrogen narcosis around 30-40 meters, but it happens much deeper in freediving. I've heard from other freedivers that you might feel uh, nitrogen narcosis if you freedive deeper than 80-90 meters. However, I personally never experienced the symptoms of nitrogen narcosis, uh, both when I was doing scuba diving and when I was doing uh, the deep free diving. Um, in both activity, I never feel any narcotic effect. So what is so dangerous about the gas narcosis? Mainly, it is an increased chance of making a wrong decision while you're extremely deep. You might decide to stay there longer than you should or unclip the lanyard or do something stupid like this. It can also compromise a diver's technique, making it less effective. You probably saw a short uh, freediving movie uh, made by a French freediver, uh, William Neri, and of course, which is excellent movie to watch. It's quite cinematic, but probably not too realistic, at least according to my knowledge. In his movie, he shows the effect of nitrogen narcosis on him during one of his deep dives. However, as I said, it doesn't look uh, too realistic. An interesting case about the gas narcosis effect on a deep free diver is a, a national record uh, attempt by Andrea Zuccari uh, in a discipline No Limits. Andrea Zuccari is an accomplished Italian free diver with many national records, uh, and also he is the owner of the famous free diving school uh, in Sharm el Sheikh. Uh, in Egypt. In 2017, he was on his way to break the record again and uh, dive to 200 meters. And who knows, uh, maybe even uh, a break a world record in this discipline in the near future. According to Andrea himself, he was feeling well on his training dives and he reached uh, 185 meters a few times. And equalization was a little bit problem in the beginning, but then he fixed it. Uh, hypoxia was also not an issue. But the problem was nitrogen narcosis. And since the price for any mistake on such uh, a deep dive can be a life of a free diver, Andrea made the right decision and stopped his attempt to reach 200 meters. So his limit was set to 185 meters, and this became a new uh, Italian national uh, record in this discipline, in a no limit discipline. So it was incredibly deep dive, and according to Andrea himself, the limitation uh, on this dive was not hypoxia, not uh, equalization, not decompression sickness, but the gas narcosis. 
And by the way, I made a review about this dive to 185 meters. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, check out uh, this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click here.